Hey, thanks. Um, <laughs> a little bit about Lines of Flight for a start. Uh, we're an experimental music festival. Uh, we be began in the year 2000 in conjunction with the first Dunedin Fringe. And this year's event um, was the 10th. So every two years um, since then, um, there should be a slide coming up here which is not, there it is. Um, okay, so this is from the Apennaeum this year. Um, the very first lines of flight was in the Apennaeum, uh, in the Octagon. Um, and uh, so it was great to get back there for one of the shows this year. Um, so, I'll hand it. Okay, um, <coughs> lines of flight uh, have more and more international artists coming to it to um, play alongside the national and local artists. Uh, this is a French guy, uh, Jerome Nottinger, quite a famous um, person in his field, sort of electro music concrete. Um, and a lot of international audiences come to it as well. From the international to the local, this is Dunedin artist Emily Smith. Um, some great visuals there too. Um, just an example of a really vital local scene. Um, which has, I think, just got more and more over the years. <coughs> now, this is Hermione Johnson at the Dunedin Public Art Gallery. She plays prepared piano, lift up the piano, put lots of things inside it, so then when you play it, it makes unusual sounds as well as normal. <laughs> yep. uh, that's an example of yeah. a lot of different genres and lines of flight. <coughs> this is something coming out of the classical tradition where there's violins and cellos also used. Okay, so this is from the free noise tradition. This is Bruce Russell in his bumblebee shirt. Um, okay. So he's been called the godfather of New Zealand free noise and he's played at every lines of flight, either with the Dead Sea or a handful of dust um, since the beginning. Uh, this is <coughs> out at the ante room, the old Masonic Lodge in Port Chalmers. Uh, this is the band The Forgotten Guests showing um, harp and other instruments over there. In the middle we've got um, Alistair Galbraith's fire organ which he made himself. It's hollow glass tube with Bunsen burners, different lengths so they make different sounds. Uh, a lot of people make their own instruments. This is Joe Bozinska aka Stania Black Five from Christchurch. Uh, the only lines of flight that we've had outside Dunedin was one in post-earthquake Christchurch. And Joe's performance sourced sounds from the earthquake. Um, so the sound real... artist, she went and recorded it while it was happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Campbell Neal, um, calls himself Our Love Will Destroy the World. Uh, this is pretty extreme, um, cathartic, shamanistic, <laughs> extreme noise. Uh, he's um, been going for about 30 years. He also runs label, music labels and a big... Um, example of the DIY ethos in the New Zealand underground community. This is Sandos Lab Technicians, um, again at Charlotte's Ante Room, um, an example of the experimental film. Um, so that's been a big part of the festival since its beginning. Um, so you get a whole experience. It's both sound and visual. And uh, this was from last year's show, um, August of the Spheres, uh, Wellington Band. The back from a European tour, uh, more um, film, uh, just so many different genres within Lines of Flight over the years, it's got more and more diverse and uh, experimental approaches to different um, types of music. And, uh,